Hello my friends, welcome back to Arms Only Gaming, Mike here. I'm going to show you the steps on how to complete Alfred's um, side quest in uh, Bloodborne today. Now, Alfred is one of the NPCs that you can use to fight uh, the Bloodstaff Beast, and the, I think he can actually help you in some other places as well. But after the game, after you've picked up the unopened summons from Isifika's clinic um, via the Forbidden Woods, you come back to this area, you'll stand here by this uh, uh, tomb or whatever this is, and you give it to him, because he's looking for the vile bloods. Uh, he's just thanking me and saying he's going to go and see the queen. Now the place he wants to go, oh yeah, after you give him that, he's going to give you the, the church bow gesture and the wheel hunter's badge, so you can purchase the Logarius wheel. Um, but yeah, then he's going to leave. I mean, he's not going to leave right in front of us. You, you have to go back to the Hunter's Dream. Now, you'll have to have completed the uh, Martyr Lugarius boss fight in order for this to, to happen. Yeah, so he's just talking his way through. May the good blood guide your way. Yes, step two. Then we leave and we return to the Hunter's Dream. We go to the vile blood queen's chamber. As you can see, I've already completed this. So now something has happened. Alfred has already gone to Canest, and he's beaten the queen to a pulp. I'll let this speak for itself. He's very happy with himself. Now the queen is not sitting on the throne anymore. She's um. Mm, I don't know what she is. Kind of poppy. Try stirring up trouble in this sorry state. All mangled and twisted. His voice kind of sounds like Julian Sands, uh, the actor who played in that movie Warlock. For people my age, I think they will know. Younger people, look it up. Warlock, excellent movie. But yeah, Alfred kind of sounds like Julian Sands. Oh yeah, if you talk to him again, he's going to give you the, the roar, roar, roar gesture. <laughs> you can use that to frighten your opponents, or bosses, or just stand there looking like a roar. Now master can be canonized as a true martyr. <laughs> I've done it. I have. <laughs> Okay, got my gesture there. Very nice. So now I'm gonna leave. Um, <laughs> not really. I have decided here and now that I am going to go and kill Alfred. You don't actually have to kill Alfred. That's the thing. I did it in this one, but you can pick up the flesh from the throne without killing him. But I just went for it. I wanted to. Ooh. Now he's angry. He's got his spare wheel and he's gonna... He's gonna hit me. Oh, hell. Yeah, and don't be fooled. This guy takes a wallop, eh? He's, uh... He, he's not as easy as it, he looks. Bloody fool. Yes, it has. The blood has gone to my head. Wink, wink. I'm gonna throw him a bottle. Take that! Ah! Ooh, got a face full of spear wheel there. I was doing the safe approach here. Nowadays when I fight him, um, it's a bit different. Uh, I can't... this uh, specific character of mine, I think he was still ranked very low. So this is why this took a little longer than usual. But yeah, it's always good when you play these things over and over again, you get more experience. That's what I always tell people. I'm gonna get him eventually. That is another thing that we're gonna do after this. I mean, you would think the queen is dead now, and you would think, okay, queen no more. But, if you've already done the... Well, it's actually necessary that you have completed the Ibritas uh, Daughter of the Cosmos uh, fight as well. 
because there was a little altar there in the, at the back where the body of Rom was lying, where she was praying. So, you take the queenly flesh after you've done this, and you go to the altar of despair, where you fought Ibritas. And as soon as you offer up the, the queenly flesh to that altar, the queen comes back to life, and then she sits there in her throne again. So it kind of confirms that she never dies. Uh, she can always come back, depending on the guys. Who, oh yeah, you always also pick up the radiance uh, ruin in after you've gotten uh, killed, Alfred. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to the altar of despair. Okay, use a different character here, but. Yeah, I think the reason for that was the other characters' uh, tombstones weren't open yet. So I had to do it with my faithfully, my faithful fighter, Mr. Wolfmoon. Now I'm going to resurrect the queen. Here's uh, Rom's body. Sorry, Rom. You were being a pest. Time flows in reverse from this scrap of flesh. So yeah, now if you go back to the queen's chamber she's gonna sit there and she's gonna be all chirpy and happy and stuff you can actually uh, propose marriage to her but she's she never accepts she's a bit stubborn in that way but um yeah she kind of frightens me anyway so uh, there she is she's not a pulp no more hello darling Yeah, <laughs> she was getting a bit pissy, so... I, yeah, I, I, she got pissy because I was standing too close to her. I was actually supposed to kneel down. Bend the knee, hmm. Why is she looking at my crotch region? What, what's going on there? That's... Um, Hmm. Queen, you are you're making me afraid. I'm gonna go stand over here. I'm I'm afraid. I think I'm gonna leave. <laughs> well, that's it, my friends. I uh, hope you had fun. I hope this helps. Please share and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, all the help and stuff. And uh, yes, my friends, I shall see you guys in the next one. You take care of yourselves. Have a lovely weekend. Cheers.